Welcome back to my channel, Licensed Immigration. Millions of Americans received the 1200 in stimulus check following the passage of CARES Act last March, but there is a step for those who did not receive it or receive less than expected. With the arrival of a new year, the beginning of tax season has also come as well. It is very important to be up to date with all our tax obligations. However, this year is a twice important due to the aid and the stimulus check. In a press release, the Internal Revenue Service explained how those people who did not receive their stimulus check due to economic crisis due to the coronavirus also who received less than expected should do their taxes, according to the IRS. Only poor millions of Americans received 1,200 stimulus checks after the approval of CARES Act last March. Just as one of the highest peaks of the coronavirus pandemic in the United States, but it wasn't just a stimulus check. Congress also passed the child tax credit, which gave them $500 for each qualified child. Face with this to relieve the IRS asking taxpayers to save on the notice 1444, which was sent to each beneficiary along with the payments. This document must be kept under safekeeping for registration purposes. It is important that you have a way to verify that you were assigned child tax credit and or stimulus check in an absence of all benefits under CARES Act are not subject to taxes. In addition, the IRS noted they also the cases of many people who did not receive stimulus check despite being eligible or receive less than they qualify. Why didn't I receive my stimulus check even though I qualify? That's a good question. The answer is that the IRS explained that the reason is that many Americans who were eligible but did not receive the relief was because they did not file a tax return in the year 2018. Or 2019. There was also the case of America who did not send the information to the IRS on time. However, the good news is that you did not receive the stimulus check or receive less than expected. You're eligible for those who qualified but did not receive the checks or receive less than expected or still eligible to receive the payment as a credit when they file their 2020 tax return in the form of a recovery refund credit. If a taxpayer did not receive the full amount of the economic impact payment to which they were entitled to, they can claim the recovery refund credit. When they apply in 2021, the IRS says in the first release, in this regard, the IRS and individuals are not required to provide details about the recovery refund credit on the tax year 2020, 4, 10, or 40, or 1040 SR. At this time this year, taxes are filed. Only certain information should be given unless they're eligible to claim an additional amount of credit. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Activate notification bell to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Like, comment below, and share. Have a blessed day.